most customers, there, there's variances, right, from one to one, and, and that's really one of the keys. I think it's one of the areas where we find success is because we're able to kind of discover what those differences are. It's the little things that make a, a good result at the end. Ultimately, what we're seeing is a big drive, obviously, to get people want to get hardware off their premises, right? So get as much of everything into the cloud as, as they can. Simultaneously, what we find is a lot of instances where maybe teams calling can't meet everything that's required and they got to keep elements of things on premise. Now we're able to shrink that footprint as much as possible, but one of the big differentiators for us obviously is being able to manage that existing legacy estate, whatever elements of it they need to keep and get everybody possible out of the cloud and into Teams Calling. There really is two different versions of it. And, and we have customers, we got a recent banking customer that really doesn't have any requirement to keep anything on premise. They're going pure cloud, everything moving up to the cloud, everything moving to Teams Calling. So all of their users will be leveraging Teams Calling as their telephony platform. Um, and then we've got a number of other customers. Um, we see things in higher ed, in healthcare particularly, where there's elements that they need to keep on the, on the local site, right? Um, sometimes it's for um, sort of just redundancy purposes. Um, particularly you see this in healthcare where their, their re redundancy availability is incredibly important to them. Sometimes they have analog requirements. Maybe they're keeping a contact center function in their old PBX they need to maintain. There's just a lot of different variables. Unfortunately, we're able to really kind of customize our solutions, whether it's the Pure Connect solution or the Connect Hybrid solution to really be able to meet what the customer requires.